All right, guys. Um, did a little work on the truck today. Um, as you can tell, I do have a fast lift pump. It's a fast 150. And ever since I've installed the lift pump, the fuel, the filter, fuel filter head, the stock one, has been leaking. I bought Merchant Automotive's rebuild kit. Put all the new O-rings in, tightened them all down, tightened everything down, put a new AC Delco filter on here, and it started leaking again. I did that last Friday. Today is Saturday, November. Ooh, I think the it's a Saturday after Thanksgiving. So check the date. Shit, but. I got tired of it leaking, so I went out, went to Lowe's. You can get this at Home Depot as well. This is what I bought. It's a half inch by half inch coupling. Um, it's only like a dollar. I paid a couple bucks for it. Um, it's not really a pain in the ass to remove, but see if I can get my get a light in there you can see it right there I replaced the uh, the stock little hose clamps with these hose clamps and everything's tightened down nice and neat um, only thing you got to remove your air filter stock well the tube to there from the air filter to the turbo so it's the only thing you really have to remove to get to it but it's pretty plain and simple um right after you do that you just right after you remove your tube you use a 12 inch or 12 millimeter my bad 12 millimeter wrench to get the filter head take the bolts out um you have to unplug your whiff sensor and the uh, heating uh, sensor because you got a little heating element in there that heats the fuel up. But really, this is all you need is just your 12 millimeter screw or er, wrench, pair of pliers. Um, I prefer to use hose clamps like this; they're a hell of a lot easier to use. And that and a flathead it's basically all you really need I mean it's plain and simple but um, I would not advise doing this if you just ran if you're just stock fuel uh, because for me I have the lift pump with the fuel filter and the water separator but, but that's it just plain and simple i mean it's probably one of the simplest things to remove i do however plan on going to gm in the next few weeks to get a new filter head you can get them about a hundred bucks i mean it's pretty cheap they're they're in a high failure rate probably because people putting lift pumps on or just the o-rings go bad who knows but plan on getting another filter head and reinstalling it because to me it's kind of safer to have some better fil filtration but that's it see you next time